Top 20 Coaching Interview Questions and Answers With the demand for improved performance increasing day in day out, you can expect a coach's grilling process to be gruesome before you are hired. Most interviewers care less about your years of experience but what you can do for the organization. This article sums up some of the frequently asked questions in coaching interviews that will help you prepare adequately. We will also guide you on how to go about them and even include a sample answer to help you come with the right but unique answers. Take a look at the following. 1. Why are you interested in this role? We all have our reasons for rendering job applications. The employer can use these to ascertain whether you are a perfect fit. Sample answer. I am a passionate coach with vast years of experience. I believe that I can use everything I have learned for the betterment of your organization. I also love your workplace policies and culture. 2. What are the roles of a coach? There are general roles of a coach regardless of the area of practice. It would be best to convince the interviewer that you understand what your job entails. Sample answer. A coach teaches the relevant skills, tactics and techniques, enhance performance through different programs, identifies strengths and weakness and comes up with good training programs. 3. What are some of the qualities that a coach should have to be effective? You can never be a good coach if you do not possess a given set of qualities. Convince the interviewer that you know these. Sample answer. A coach should be passionate about helping others and interested in personal development. He or she should be non-judgmental, able to motivate, set an example and possess excellent coaching skills. 4. What major challenge did you face during your last role? How did you overcome it? Every job has its unique set of challenges. However, the interviewer is only interested in whether you can solve it. Sample answer. A parent recently came up to me to help coach her kid in sports. He was highly talented but did not want to listen, however much I tried to make him. Instead of reporting him to the parents, I used his favorite cousin to talk to him and make him realize just how far he could go if he chose to listen. We were friends in a week, and he turned out to be the best kid I have ever coached. 5. Describe your daily routine as a coach. How does your day look? What do you do on a daily? Sample answer. My daily professional life does not start as early as in other professions. Once I wake up, I write down the drills and strategies for the day before jogging and exercising. I later meet the players later in the day and practice what I had planned before gathering them for a meeting and having a talk. My day ends with reviewing what we covered during the practice sessions. 6. Briefly describe your coaching experience. The interviewer does not want you to reiterate your CV. He or she only wants to know some of the experiences you have gained that can be used to better the team. Sample answer. I have been lucky enough to work with some of the best professional sports teams in the country. I have vast experience in on and off field coaching. I have also learned how to deal with a range of emotions given the different individuals I work with. I also learned psychology, which has helped me have a successful experience connecting with players. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? You should have a strategy in place to help you in coaching. The right mindset also makes you successful. Sample answer. Coaching brings together people from different social settings and abilities. Therefore, the best strategy is enhancing teamwork. As for the second part, a winning mindset helps as it keeps everyone on toes and motivates them to achieve the end goal. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? All panel members expect you to have reviewed all the company policies, understood the work environment and most likely noticed a challenge. Sample answer. I believe that all the challenges coaches face reveal themselves in the actual practice, and therefore it may be early to point out specifics. However, with my vast experience and your help, I believe that we can overcome any challenge that comes our way. 9. How do you stay motivated at work? Something must always keep you going and on your toes. This is what the interviewer aims to find out. Sample answer. Helping people and seeing them break their barriers keep me going. I am pushed to work even harder to help my students improve. 10. Mention a time that you failed as a coach and the lesson you learned. Most people fear answering this question believing that it is a trap when it is not. 
It is an attempt to assess whether you can learn from your mistakes and never repeat them. Sample answer. I worked with a sports team that paired me with a panel of experts. However, at one point, I decided to disregard their opinions and went ahead to organize the team formation and logistics. We were thrashed in a match that would have seen us qualify for an international competition. I learned to always teamwork even as a coach, and consider everyone's input. 11. What is your go-to plan whenever you notice that your team is struggling? The interviewer is assessing how good you are at solving challenges. Sample answer. I first assess whether the issue emanates from a specific player or cuts across the entire team. If the whole team struggles with a technique, I implement team drills during practice sessions to learn the skills and know what I expect. If it's an individual, I will suggest a range of exercises that they can do after practice or at home. 12. How do you handle criticism? Coaches are some of the most criticized professionals. Everybody has their expectations and often blames the coach if the team does not achieve these. Sample answer. I respond to criticisms calmly and in a collected manner while avoiding arguments. I pick the constructive parts and implement them, and ignoring those that may interfere with my focus. 13. Do you have any off-season expectations? Your life as a coach does not stop at the end of the season. Teams must be prepared for the following seasons. Sample answer. I believe in continuous practice. Therefore, I expect the players to be practicing, be it on their own, on the playing grounds or with their friends. 14. How does your bench area look like during games? The interviewer wants to know if you are a good manager who can set conduct rules for the players. Sample answer. I always ensure that the players remain in the bench area, whether they are standing or sitting. However, they have to stay focused on the game and cheer their teammates. 15. How do you develop community support for your team? This is normally important for funding purposes and building a fan base. Sample answer. Over time, I have learned that the best way of garnering community support is by getting involved in their activities. I plan to organize volunteering opportunities that the team will host throughout the session. 16. What is the most difficult part of being a coach? This question is directed to you as a coach and not the individual team. Sample answer. The hardest part for me is watching a player that I have worked with leave the team. Helping them grow as individuals and players create a bond makes it sad to watch them move to other things. However, most of the time, they come back to visit and update me on their current lives. 17. How do you know that your job is effective? This question is closely related to how you define success as a coach. Sample answer. It is usually amazing to end a game with a win, but the objective measure of success is seeing my players give their all and grow as players and individuals. My measure of effectiveness is by how much my players have grown while coaching them. 18. How will you handle a player who openly badmouths your decisions? This is an attempt to determine how you handle conflicts with players. Sample answer. I will pull the player aside and have a private and candid conversation. The next set of actions will stem from the results of the conversation. You can elaborate further. 19. How will you improve our team ranking? Remember, your primary role is to improve the team and help players improve at the sport. Sample answer. I hope to continue and better your team's record this coming season by learning new drills to improve players' skills. I will also enhance open and honest communication with the players to establish areas that need improvement. 20. Why did you choose to be a coach? We all have our reasons for choosing our careers, which we should always be ready to share with interviewers. Sample answer. I love this particular sport and feel elated whenever I am around people who share this same love. I chose to become a coach to help as many people as possible to master different skills and develop personally and professionally.